children today we will start lesson 11 alcohol phenol and ether alcohol when we take hydrocarbon and this hydrogen of hydrocarbon is replaced by oh group then the compound is alcohol that is roh Similarly, if we take aromatic hydrocarbon, that is benzene, if we take, that is ARH, this hydrogen is replaced by OH group, then the compound is AROH, that is phenol, aromatic alcohol it is. Similarly, if H of this hydrocarbon is replaced by alkoxy group that is OR group then the compound obtained is ROR that is ether. We will start with first classification of alcohol. As we have done classification of alkyl halide and aromatic halide in the similar way we will classify alcohol. First classification of alcohol that is on the basis of type of carbon atom. If alcoholic carbon atom or the carbon atom on which OH group is there, if that is bonded directly with only one carbon that is one degree alcohol. Second, when alcoholic carbon that is OH group as shown in this shaded bracket, it is directly bonded to two carbon atom that is two degree alcohol and three degree alcohol when this OH group or alcohol lick carbon atom when it is directly bonded to three carbon atom this is three degree alcohol. So this is the classification on the basis of type of carbon atom. Next we will take Classification on the basis of number of OH group, that is number of hydroxyl group. If only one OH group is there, then it is monohydric alcohol. If two OH group, then it is dihydric alcohol. We will take example of dihydric alcohol, that is glycol. When two OH group are adjacent to each other. Next, Trihydric alcohol, when three OH group are there, example is glycerol. Next, polyhydro alcohol, when more than three OH group are there, that is polyhydric alcohol. Next classification that we will take, that is on the basis of hybridization on alcoholic carbon atom. When alcoholic carbon atom is sp3 hybridized, that is saturated alcohol. Next is when alcoholic carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. One pi bond is there on alcoholic carbon atom, that is sp2 hybridized alcohol. Now we will take examples of classification and naming of alcohol. Naming of alcohol can be done in three ways that is first derivative system or carbonyl system. Now there is historical importance of the system. Second is common name system and third is IUPAC. In derivative system or carbonyl system this carbon and OH both are included and named as carbonyl. Carbon plus all carbonyl. Common name system that is ROH, R is alkyl and OH will refer to alcohol that is alkyl alcohol and IUPAC it is alkane plus all. E will be removed if the alcohol is only monohydric alcohol, alkanol. We will take some examples now. First, CH3OH, this is carbon and OH, carbinol in derivative system. Common name, methyl alcohol, IUPAC, methanol. Second, two carbon atom, two carbon atom that is in common name, ethyl alcohol, IUPAC, ethane, two carbon, ethanol. 
and carbinol system or derivative system one carbon and OH that is carbinol along with one substituent that is methyl so it is methyl carbinol next is three carbon chain common name and propyl alcohol IUPAC propanol all these examples are of one degree alcohol as alcoholic carbon atom is directly bonded to only one carbon. One more example that is isobutyl alcohol. In isobutyl alcohol, isobutyl group as you can see there, alcoholic carbon atom is directly bonded to only one carbon. So it is primary or one degree alcohol IUPAC we will select the longest chain numbering will start from OH group minimum Loken rule OH group containing carbon atom so the IUPAC name is 2 methyl propanol next we will take some examples of 2 degree alcohol when alcoholic carbon atom or OH group carbon atom is directly bonded to 2 carbon atom this is 2 degree alcohol Common name is isopropyl. This is isopropyl group, isopropyl alcohol or propane 2 all. This is IUPAC name. One more example we will take for 2 degree alcohol. Alcoholic carbon atom directly bonded to 2 carbon atom. Locant rule, minimum locant rule that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon. Position of OH is 2. So it is butane 2 all. Common name secondary butyl alcohol because substitution is there on 2 degree carbon atom. So it is secondary butyl alcohol. Next when alcoholic carbon atom, this is your alcoholic carbon atom directly bonded to 3 carbon atom. This is 3 degree alcohol. Common name is Tertiary butyl, this is tertiary butyl group, tertiary butyl alcohol. IUPAC, we will select this longest chain as you can see from this cursor. 1, 2, 3. So the position of the substituent is 2 methyl functional group 2, 2 methyl propane 2 all. In all these examples, there is only one OH group. So... The category is monohydric alcohol. When more than one OH group is there, then IUPAC name is followed by alkane plus all. This time E of the parent hydrocarbon chain will be retained along with the number of OH group. If two OH group are there, then we will write diol, alkane diol. If three OH group, then we will write alkane triol. This E of parent chain will be retained. We will take some examples of dihydric and trihydric alcohol. First, this is CH2OH, CH2OH. Two OH group are adjacent to each other, nearby to each other. This is ethylene, two carbon. Ethylene and adjacent OH group, glycol. It is named as glycol. Ethylene, glycol. IUPAC, longest chain, two carbon, that is ethane. E will be retained. 1, 2, that is the position of OH group, diol, ethane, 1, 2, diol, dihydric alcohol, 2 OH group are there. If 3 OH group are there, then it is glycerol, 3 OH group are at successive position, adjacent to each other, glycerol, propane, 1, 2, 3, triol, E will be retained. Children, remember one more thing. Two OH group cannot be there on same carbon atom as we have done in jam dihalide and vicinal dihalide. It is not possible that two OH group can be placed on the same carbon atom. These two OH group, these are larger group. So, larger group will cause steric hindrance for each other and ultimately it will go for 
removal of water molecule as shown by this dotted line H2O will be removed and the product formed is carbonyl group that is C double bond O. So two OH group cannot be remain on same carbon atom. Now we will take some examples of aromatic alcohol. Before this all the examples that we have discussed that is alcoholic carbon atom was sp3 hybridized because the carbon atom containing OH group was saturated carbon atom. Now we will take aromatic alcohol example. The first example that we have taken phenol this is familiar compound for you. OH group is directly attached to the benzene ring and this benzene ring carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. So this is aromatic alcohol phenol or it can be named as hydroxy benzene monohydric alcohol it is as only one OH group is there. Next we will take some examples of dihydric aromatic alcohol when two OH group are at one two position ortho position ketikol name of the compound is ketikol one two dihydroxy benzene IUPAC if the two OH group are at one three position resorcinol one three resorcinol one three dihydroxy benzene it is and if two OH group are at para position that is one four position quinol or hydroxy quinone one four dihydroxy benzene these are examples of aromatic dihydric alcohol this is CH2, CH double bond CH2. This is allyl alcohol. Alcoholic carbon atom is sp3 hybridized and it is in conjugation with pi bond, allyl alcohol. IUPAC, it will start from 1, 2, 3, that is probe 2 enol. One more example we will take. This is benzene ring and the Substituent or the outer chain is CHOHCH3. IUPAC name of the compound is, this is the saturated hydrocarbon longest chain. Two carbon atom, we will start numbering from OH group containing carbon atom. This is our functional group. So the position is 1. So IUPAC name is phenyl ethane or This is aromatic ring. OH and CH3 group are nearby to each other. The common name of the compound is chrysol at 1 2 position that's why orthochrysol. If the position is 1 3 meta and if the position is 1 4 that is paracrysol. IUPAC name is 2 hydroxy toluene. Similarly if we take CH2 OH on benzene ring this is benzyl group you are familiar with benzyl group C6H5CH2 benzyl and OH group alcohol so common name is benzyl alcohol IUPAC phenyl methanol now we will take ether ether commonly represented as ROR dash ethers are of two types for simple ether when R and R dash are equal, similar groups and when R and R dash are not similar then it is mixed ether. We will take some examples of these simple and mixed ether with their naming. Naming of ether first common name that is alkyl ether followed by alphabetical order of alkyl group and second is IUPAC alkoxy alkane alkoxy alkane plus oxygen small r group plus oxygen that is alkoxy group substituent and larger r group will be treated as parent chain that is alkane and in this way it will be alkoxy alkane first we will take ch3o ch3 2 r group 
methyl group similar to each other that is simple ether IUPAC methoxy methane common name dimethyl ether similarly C2H5 4C2H5 that is ethoxy ethane or diethyl ether example of simple ether next we will take CH3 O C2H5 mixed ether both R group are not similar IUPAC small r group plus oxygen methoxy and ethane two carbon atom common name is ethyl methyl E alphabetical order first prior than M so it will be ethyl methyl ether example of mixed ether similarly we take CH3 O CH CH3 CH3 this is Methyl and isopropyl group are there. Mixed ether. IUPAC, we will select the longest chain, 3 carbon and position of the alkoxy group that is OCH3, methoxy 2. So, it is 2 methoxy propane. Common name, isopropyl methyl ether. Similarly, we can take some example of aromatic ether, example of mixed ether. These are C6H5 OCH3 that is any sol methoxy benzene. If the group is OC2H5 then it is phenytol ethoxy benzene. One more example that we will take cyclohexanol group bonded with 2CH3 group that is 2 substituent or side chain and OC2H5. These two CH3 group and OC2H5 group are adjacent to each other. Now, how we will number this? Our parent chain will be cyclohexanol. Now, two CH3 group and OC2H5, all these three are substituents. So, we will follow minimum Locken rule. As we write the number shown in inner ring, that is in ring 1, 2. So it will be 112 and by the shaded numbering that is done in out of the ring 1 and 2, 2. So minimum Locken rule is followed by 112 as compared to 122. So we will write it as 2 ethoxy 1, 1 dimethyl cyclohexane. Now we will take structure of these three functional group that is alcohol, phenol and ether. This is for alcohol CH3OH. The CO bond length is 142 picometer and in phenol C6H5OH the CO bond length is 136 picometer. And ether that is CH3 OCH3 the CO bond length is 141 picometer. This bond length carbon oxygen bond length is approximately similar for this alcohol and ether. But it is less in phenol. The bond length that is less in phenol due to conjugation in lone pair and double bond of the benzene ring there is conjugation due to this conjugation plus an effect lone pair of electron will move towards the ring and there will be partial double bond character generated between carbon and oxygen Due to this double bonded character, bond order increases, so bond length decreases. So the simple keyword is due to conjugation of lone pair of electron and functional group that is double bond, partial double bond character are generated and bond length of CO bond decreases. Next we will take bond angle bond angle in alcohol it is in between coh this bond angle is 108.9 degree 
Hybridization on oxygen atom in each case if we take alcohol or phenol or ether. Hybridization on oxygen atom is sp3. So if sp3 hybridization is there then bond angle should be 109 degree 28 minute. But in case of alcohol it is slightly less than this bond angle. This is due to lone pair, lone pair repulsion. Two lone pair are present on this oxygen atom. So there will be LPLP -LP repulsion. This LPLP -LP repulsion leads bond pair will be more close and in this way bond angle decreases. Now we will check the bond angle. In phenol it is 109 degree approximately similar to bond angle in sp3 hybridization. The reason is that long pair of electron are there. Two long pair of electron are there on oxygen atom in phenol. But these long pair are included in plus R effect not available every time for repulsion. So there will be less repulsion as compared to alcohol in phenol. That's why bond angle is approximately similar to sp3 hybridization. Next we will move on to ether. The bond angle is maximum that is triple 1.7 degree. This is maximum bond angle. The reason is two lone pair are not effective for LPLP -LP repulsion. There is much more effective repulsion between two R group. Two methyl group are there and these two methyl group, bulky R group will repel each other. There will be steric hindrance between these two R group and they will move apart from each other and it results increase in bond angle in ether.